Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I think we have a card to mail since the sixth postcard got an elixir. Do we have another one? No. So we're still missing four of those postcards. However, we are going to leave Adventure Out into the world, head to our very first Disney World. Um, hopefully we have some time to do stuff in this episode. Uh, here is a very annoying long because they talk so damn slow explanation of how to okay there we go that wasn't so bad um so we want to go to this one up here Ugh. so here is a uh, probably one of the less liked parts in the game uh, this is the gummy ship sort of mini game it's how you travel from world to world eventually you'll just be able to warp and skip these parts but I mean they're not the worst thing in the world, they're just kind of long. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Anyways, you just kinda of shoot ships down if you can actually hit them. There we go. And then you can uh, you can get the stuff. Right there. There's other stuff you can shoot down, you'll pick up pick up different kinda different gummies that you can use to help build your ship up uh, later. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I'm not not the greatest shot at this. Uh, I get hit a lot. But you know that's what the that's what your uh, health guard gauge is for, right? However, some of the stuff you'll get will help you. See, those are like gummies, the, uh, so you press zero, I, I, when I come up to these right here, I like to slow down, um, the armor ones, that'll heal you, basically like health. Anyways, this first one's pretty simple, they can get kind of, they can get a little difficult, um, later in the game, uh, but I mean, I, I'm, I, honestly, I'm not the best of them. I, I've seen people that'll do this, and they'll they'll get like literally every single pickup because they're just absolute studs. Um, I have this little gummy ship walking around, doopity doop dop dop. Yep, that totally makes sense. Not at all, actually, but that's okay. Yeah, my aiming sucks. Can't freaking hit anything. I'm surprised I haven't like crashed into more stuff. But it's long. It, it, and these these can be kind of tedious. Uh, nothing much else to say about them besides uh. That little factoid right there. More power. More power. Bam. Getting, getting done. Getting done. Man, I'm so tired today. I I, 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 even, I, I got a good night's sleep last night. I want to be completely honest. I I went to bed early. For, for me, early by like 12-ish or so. Got to bed at like 12-ish, like a little bit before. And, uh... Man, I tossing and turning all night. Actually, my my foot is probably about a little over a yard off the floor, and I, I, it was tossing and turning so much that I fell off my bed here. The just the beds here at college are just so uncomfortable compared to like my bed at home. And it's not even like it's smaller. That's not what bothers me necessarily. It's just like it, it's uncomfortable. My back hurts. Just all sorts of crazy, stupid, stupid stuff, and it just makes me tired. I'm just not getting a good night's rest. But here's our very first world. You can see Goofy floating down there, all chill. Oh, but he falls. Dork. Yes, welcome to Wonderland. And here we'll meet the rabbit that's always late. Um, most, almost every world from here on out is going to be based off of a Disney movie where we'll meet various Disney characters. And, you know, basically, essentially, we just travel through the storyline of the Disney movie is what we'll end up doing. I'm pretty sure yeah, there's a yellow trinity in this room. The first time we'll see a different colored trinity. We can't access those yet, though. Here we are in the various doors, entering off into the world. Anyways, fun, fun stuff. Yeah, this this world actually is not one of my favorites. Um, I don't know what it... <laughs> Here, I'll stop talking in this cutscene. I don't know. I'm not going to talk during cutscenes. Frick that. I don't care about cutscenes. No. This is not one of my favorite worlds. Um, the first time... I, and I, I know why. It's not that this world isn't fun. It's just... It kind of reminds me of, like, something like what you would call... You know, there's a term that we call, like, the kind of, like, Midwest states in America. We call them flyover states. Because, honestly, there's not too much there. So it's kind of like... Nebraska, just kind of those states in the middle of Kansas. They're, they're fly, we call, we call them flyover states. They're not not super exciting kind of states. So if we can get if we can get actually over here to drink this, um, drink the blue potion, it'll make you small. Oh crap! 
<clears throat> did it out of order. Forgot to do something like a dummy. Okay, we're still on the table, that's good. And drink the orange potion to get bigger. And somehow just you drinking it makes everyone giant. Perfect, perfect sense. And we'll push the bed in, because that's what we're supposed to do. Just flatten it against the wall. This, and it, I think the fact that this world is so strange adds to my sort of, uh, I'm not like dislike, I'm just not as comfortable with this world. I don't, I don't know this world <clears throat> as well as I know other worlds. Here, here we have a new enemy. These are red nocturnes. Um, I'll put their stats up in the video right now. Um, they're magic casting enemies and they'll drop little magical balls. Um, as you can see, they also drop other items. I believe they drop like fire shards or like a fire bracelets, rings type things. And as you can fight them, they'll give one experience and more, more uh, soldier heartless. Anyways, we're gonna enter here into the queen's <coughs> castle. Excuse me. I'm feeling better now. You know, I, I, if as always, as you're tired, you get more into the day. You feel a lot better. I don't know though. I mean, I'm, I'm still definitely pretty much exhausted. Here's Alice and the Queen of Hearts. Yeah, I, I think also the fact that this was not one of my favorite Disney movies. Actually, I don't think I ever, I've ever seen this Disney movie all the way through. I'm not, I'm not a huge Disney fan. I mean, I kind of, as I got older, tended to shy away from animation, uh, f animation films. Of course, I'm, I'm playing video games. <laughs> I mean, I'd record and I play video games every single day and record and upload them to YouTube. So I'm obviously don't hate animation. But as far as it comes to like animation films, I have tend to like shy away from them as I've gotten older. Um, but you know that's just the way it tends to be sometimes. You know when you when you grow up, sort of. Yeah, but I, yeah, I never really saw Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I never really paid attention to to them. I never. I don't think I've ever seen the movie all the way through. Uh, so that probably contributes to my. I'm just gonna go with dislike. I, I mean, I don't hate this world, but I just I don't like this world very much. I, it's a flyover world. Honestly, it's kind of short. Um, you, just, you, you you have the ability to just sort of breeze through it if you wanted to. But the first time, you saw when we were out, uh, you saw when we were out in the overworld, we could travel down or up. I traveled down, and then I traveled across to the next world that, that opens up after you beat this one. So I never really had, I never played this world too much. Oh, off with her head. She's gonna freaking die. Oh, don't kill the blondie. Blondes are, pr blondes are pretty. I do I do have a partial towards blondes. Although, it's, it's funny because my friends constantly remind me, they're like, you always, you're always you're always so partial towards blondes, but you've never dated a blonde. Now, all the girls you've dated have either been, have either had pitch black hair or have br had brown hair. And, I, you know, Whatever. So here, the the Queen of Hearts is gonna send her off, send us off <coughs> to get evidence to um, clear Alice's name. There's a save point right there if you want. You can actually exit the world. Some save points will allow you to exit the world. Others won't. Um, I do believe we want to talk. Let's talk to Alice because I think she says stuff. What is she? What will she say? Who are you? I'm Sora. I'm Goofy, and that's Donald. Pleased to meet you. I wish you were under better circumstances. I'm sorry I got mixed up in this nonsense. My girl voice is horrible. Why are you on trial? I should like to know the very same thing. I was guilty from the moment I took the stand. That's crazy. That's more like that's like the U.S. justice system. Oh snap! What? Really, really, U.S. justice system. Not the best. Whoever's got the most money wins. That's the way it is. You know, I. I that's what I get for being college educated. Peeked inside the rabbit hole. Oh yeah. Cheshire Cat. Okay, we're done talking to you, Alice. You've, you've said some interesting things. But off we're going into the Lotus Forest. The Lotus Forest. Here we are. <clears throat> Sora derping around. Da -derp -da -der Whoa! Hello, cat face. I forgot about this part. This is the Cheshire Cat, also from Alice in Wonderland. All these characters here are from Alice in Wonderland. Who are you? Who indeed? For Alice soon to lose her head. She's got a guilty. Not a she's not guilty. Something. Fuck. I can't even fucking read. I don't care. Hey, you know who the culprit is? Tell us. The Cheshire cat has all the answers, but doesn't always tell. The answer, the culprit, the cat. All lie in darkness. That was cryptic. There are four pieces of evidence in all. Three are searched to find. The fourth is tricky, but 
big reward if you find them all. Big reward indeed. We actually, because the reward is so good, where I'm finding them all. I I tend not to always want to find them all, uh, just because it can be bothersome. Especially oh, lucid shard. Love getting love getting items. What's in here? I'm, oh, Trinity, blue Trinity. Here we have blue dude. I'm not in a fight right now. Don't want to fight you. Goofy leveled up. Oh, nice. Okay, I guess I'm casting fire. No, I didn't want to fight you. You're, you're making me do it. Donald leveled up. Okay, we're out of the fight now. I just want to use Blue Trinity. Blue Trinity numero 5 out of 17. Good to know. We get potion, ethers, tents, MP balls. Oh, I forgot to buy potions. Hopefully, we have enough potions. That's what I'm counting on. Crapola. Let's see. Dude? Wait, is this one? Okay, now I'm just totally lost. This is the problem with the stupid forest. I get, I get turned around. Okay, we go in here. Hop up here. No. Hop. Stupid. Precision. This, is, this game has some precision jumps, but was unfortunately not made for precision jumping. Stupid heartless. Got my house. You know what? For, okay, bizarre room. Here we are. In the bizarre room. Fall down here. Open these little chests, present box things, and find the stench. Um, good to know. Pop down here. This room is the bizarre room, I guess. I didn't know it was called that originally. Back in the Queen's Castle. You know, just very... This is going to be slightly repetitive. This is going to be slightly repetitive. So you actually, after one, if you get one of these, you can actually go talk to the Queen of Hearts. And and she'll, well, well you'll see in the end. Um, you only have to get, to progress in the level of the game, you only have to examine. Give me ether. Um, do I have items? Let's see. <clears throat> Exchange with Sora's Mega Ether. Items. Ether. Flower. It's all these camping set. Oh, how nice. How nice. Yes, all these uh, flowers will, if you give them different shit, will drop different stuff. Easy, easy enough, I suppose. Okay, more, uh, more enemies. We're gonna have to kill enemies all the time. That's all I do all day long. Dude, not the flower. I wanna kill the flower. I wanna kill the flower, man. Okay, are we done? Examine. Give me ether. I don't have any more ethers. I think he'll he'll just give you another camping set though. Like 99% positive. Oh come on. I can't even see you, man. Playing dirty. Okay, what's up here now? Oh, booyah. Made that jump. What's in here? <gasps> Special item! Dalmatians, 16, 17, and 18. See, you'll find the Dalmatians in the little boxes. How nice of the Dalmatians to be in boxes. I don't even know what I was going for there. I could have swore. Oh, here's a present. This is what I was looking for. This is the footprints, I believe. Yep, footprints. Found them. Get them, got them good. Um, what is this flower? Potion, hopefully? Ether? No. Oh, hello, potion. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Potion. Oh, here's one. Wow, okay, found three pretty easily, huh? Antenna. Okay, this is a tough jump. Yep, that... That's a tough jump. This one, um, there's some stuff over here... There we go. Whew! Second try, baby. Second try. Mark that down. Because you're seeing a legend at work here. I told you I was good at this game. I told you I was good at this game. Okay. So this is a shorter, tricky jump. Wait, is this a jump that's makeable? Wait, what? What am I doing here? Okay, let's look up. Let's look up. What? Can I just? I don't. I don't think I. Could I just got over? Dude, okay, get out of here. <laughs> get out of first person, Sora. This is not the time. Okay, make, make me jump. 
Gonna make me jump. Okay. Oh, that was- Oh, we made that. I totally thought we did not make that. So, examine. It's too big to eat. It's too much wombly in my tummy. Where is the f Wait. What? Oh, we can jump on that ledge up there, huh? Okay. Dude. Sora. Sora? What are you doing, man? I got ceremonies in my tummies. Oh, wow. We made that with no problem that time. Ugh. Almost. I wonder if it's... No. Fail sauce? Fail sauce? What? Fail sauce? Dude? Can't be failing on that jump, Sora. Let's see here. I can make this jump. I can make this jump! Nope. Not, not this time. Not that time. You, have to, you literally have to jump right at the edge of your run. Damn it, I jumped. I swear to God. Why did I jump down from here? Or from up there? Come on. You got this, Sora. Dude. Okay, Sora. There we go. I knew it. Knew it from the moment I saw it. Is this where we jump from? No, there's no way we'd ever reach that. You need to get up there. The last piece is up there. I'm almost positive. Come on. Turn, Sora. There we go. Or maybe it's not up there. I actually don't think it's up there. I'm pretty sure you have to have something else to get up there. We'll ignore that. We'll ignore that. Let's see. What? It, I'm pretty sure this... Give him a potion. Items, potion, flower. Make us big. Okay, so... Pretty sure... Attack this tree and it'll turn. So that's important. And I thought we have to step on this. There we go. See ya. What? Buy tree? Okay. Random. Oh crap, I have to hit the tree again, don't I? Okay, so wait. Examine. So if you take it, it'll fall on the floor. And now I want to hit the tree. And now I want to eat it. Yes, very intricate sequence of events that must be taken along, young Sora. However, if we go back in here and hop up, dude. Don't. Don't fuck with me, man. See, the trees turn, but this new new path has opened over here as we have opened this area. Like, so, into the bizarre room. And in here, I believe, is the very last... <coughs> um... thing. Oh, we have to jump over there, huh? That made me do a jump I can't even freaking see. Oh, made it. That was close. Open this, and we get the last claw marks. This is the last bit of evidence. Well, look what you found. Nice going. We got all four. Now we can save Al Alice. What do you mean? He's going to give us something. We've taken the power of ice. We can use Blizzard. We actually could get this later. There are more opportunities to get this. Although it's really nice to have it this early in the game. Let me tell you, Blizzard rocks shit. Blizzard essentially works similar to a shotgun where it just shoots out and kind of sprays um yeah blizzard shoots out and sprays similar to a shotgun and uh just works super awesome anyways i'm running out of time though so i'll catch you guys on the flip side i hope everyone has a great day uh peace out everybody